We are located in the Caribou district of BC. Horsefly is unique because it um, is lush and it's kind of like a rainforest area and the rivers and the creeks are very significant to this area. We are along 10 kilometers of the Horsefly River. Our place is 2,122 acres and our range is about 80,000 acres where the cattle go for the summertime. This valley in particular where we live is uh, it's got a really warm climate compared to like they, people call it, tease us that we live in the banana belt. Um, so it's pretty unique in that way. Perfect little picture. <laughs> we are a cow-calf operation. Uh, we are multi-generation of Chad's parents, us and our children here. We came from Saskatchewan. And, um, for We had a, quite a few years of drought there and we uh, we were looking for a spot where we could grow more grass and have lots of water for our cattle and, and not have to worry about that on a daily basis. 2002, it seemed like it was getting drier every year, so we thought we'd start looking for a place with uh, lots of water, warmer climate, and uh, we found this ranch. So we learned a lot moving here. I mean, we were pretty green to BC. This place taught us a lot. I mean, you kind of got to follow nature and and, and it'll predict what's going to happen for you. You just kind of do what you can do and work hard. So it was a big move, um, lots of lots of trips, um, moved everything, shop, barn, households. Yeah, it was uh, quite a thing. All of a sudden it was time to put cattle out on range and it was quite a feeling because out there you put them in, in fence property and here it would just turn them out. We were pretty panicky <laughs> that first year. Didn't know if we'd ever see them again but it all turned out pretty good. I think the unique part about the Horsefly River is this is where the sockeye salmon come to spawn. So we have 16 tributary creeks that go into the river and they're all fish bearing, which is super important for us to take care of. So we wanted to initially get all those fenced off, make sure the cattle weren't hanging around the creeks all summer and winter. So we put in lots of off stream waters, keeping them away from the riparian areas. Uh, managing the ground, fence and pastures so we can rotationally graze. Uh, when we came here 17 years ago, the cows kind of had the run of the place and now they're, you know, we can manage them quite a bit. Well, we were lucky when we came, there was uh, an artesian well up uh, up the hill, so it, uh, and that pipeline was in, but we've added, uh, I think, seven um, big tire troughs over the years, you know, just added uh, as we needed them, rather than heat water, we're, uh, we're just using a little bit of an overflow to keep them thawed out. And now the cattle don't even bother walking down to the creek. If they, if they have access to it, they just drink out of a nice raised water. They're kind of spoiled that way. This past summer, uh, forestry helped us build some range fence. It's uh, uh, wildlife friendly, special uh, spacing on the wire to keep the, uh, you know, help the deer and so on cross more safe. We have fenced our perimeter of our ranch with electric, two strand electric. Uh, it works good. You, we got lots of up and down and corners, so you don't need the you don't need a tight fence. Uh, wildlife can easily get through it. You know they're not getting hung up like a barbed wire fence. They can, and the cattle do not go through it. So it works good. It's it helps all the species. We always do try to do our cow work with horses. Um, when hang, all of us are around for hang. Our kids are involved in the daily tasks of ranching and our in-laws are here to always help us. The grass grows pretty good. Uh, the range is, uh, is handy. It's right, right out the back door. So um, all those things make it a pretty sustainable place. We try to use kind of the take half, leave half philosophy. So. When you put cattle in a pasture, you want them to intensively graze the whole pasture, but not nuke it. You know, you don't want them to, to chew it right off. So high, high stocking rate for shorter periods of time is ideal. This play, I mean, any ranch in BC, it's a challenge because it's big acres, but uh, you just do your best and, and try and manage it properly. I like being on the ranch, just, just the freedom of kind of 
live your own life. You don't have to ever get caught up in a rat race. I mean, there's lots of times a year it's busy and not that much fun at some days, but you still kind of have, you know, you're, you're in charge of your own destiny, I guess one could say. I'm, I'm very proud of our family. We have kids that all help. Everybody chips in and uh, it works good. Oh, it's an honor to win the award. I mean, we've worked hard to get this ranch to where it is and and it's pretty productive yet still looks good and and I think that's the most all well, rewarding thing is just knowing that you're somebody thinks you're doing a good job out there besides you so yeah